All right, so here we are. We're on uh, February 13th, and uh, we got a little bit of snow here in Maryland. We got uh, about two inches on the grass, but none on the uh, driveways or um, roads. So I thought, well, I'm going to try uh, having our uh, Cy Rusher XF700 out on the snow real quick and give it a go. It's got these uh, four-inch tires on it fat tires we'll give it a give it a try see how it does i've been riding around a little bit here and uh we'll see how it uh, goes try those gloves terry thank you so with it being a little colder out hold out my ski gloves my ski jacket because it does get a little cold i've been out here riding around a little bit but uh, it seems to handle pretty well overall can't really notice the difference from um, riding without the snow so one thing, you know, being a little older, I can't really throw my front leg up over like I, I'd like to. So what I've learned to do is put my left foot down on the pedal and then push the bike a little bit and swing my back leg over. So for those of you that have a basket on the back of the bike or considering it, you may or may not want to go that way. Here we go. pretty good at low speed without the uh, power on. I'm do an uphill jump here. It seems like it handles well. Uh, you know, turn, short turns like this, not a problem, but if you put a little bit of plow into it, you're going to slide. Let's see if I can simulate one. Uh, I'll turn around and come back at you. So, I think leaning more than that, it's going to go into a slide, but overall, it's. Uh, not bad in the snow, so I imagine sand would be similar. Um, for those of you who don't have snow in your area, but if you ride on sand, I imagine it's going to be similar, maybe a little more resistance, but handling, my gosh, I'm so happy with how this turned out. All right, well, thanks to everybody for watching. <laughs>